should never phase me They watch the steps that I be taking That's why they say that I'm amazing uh, Been the top dog before the nine Since I've always been the public figure Now the frame then got too big Cause most people wanna get up in it Welcome back to the show, everybody. I'm your host, John Madsen. This is the show. Really what I'm going to talk about today is how to specifically throw out the old version of you and recreate the new version of you. Because the thing that people get wrong all the time is they try to change themselves. And you've probably done this too. And you've heard people talk about how hard it is to change and this and that. And sometimes you wonder if people will ever change. Most people aren't going to change. But if you're listening to this podcast, you are a person who wants to improve. Improving presupposes that you're changing what you don't like and you're improving upon it so that you can get something new, which is good. But here's the thing that I want you to remember. When you are trying to change yourself, one of the things that will be the most frustrating in this journey is if you continue to hold on to the image of the old. If you do this, and so many people do, the way you see yourself ultimately never changes. So think about the people that lose 20 pounds. They still hold this image in their mind of the person they used to be. They might have been the person that would never was never in incredible shape. They might have been the person that was overweight in high school. They might have been insecure about X, Y, and Z. And in their mind's eye, they view themselves as this old person. But in the short term, they're able to change their behavior for a second, maybe a month, maybe three months, and maybe even a year. And so they change their behavior, their results change, but here's the secret that I want you to get out of today's show. Even though their behaviors change, it's going to be short-lived because it's out of alignment with who they believe they are. Any and all behaviors that are not in alignment with who you see yourself as will be short-term behaviors and lead to short-term results. There's no way around it. I've done podcasts on this in the past, but my inbox is full of people who, when I talk about this, they want to know how, John, how do I change that image of the past into one of the future? And the very first thing they have to do is they have to let the past die. You're not where you grew up. You're not what your teacher said about you. You're not what your parents said you couldn't do. You're not anything unless you choose to be from your past. You have to let all that shit go. And the good news for you is you get to create something new. You get to create a new model for the world you want to live in. You get to create a new you. So on one side of the paper, you have all of your past history, all of your successes, which are good memories that we can we can look at if we need to. We can recall on successful memories, but all of the past mistakes, all of the things you could have done and should have done and the regret that you have, the remorse that you have, the guilt that you have, the, the past that defines you. On that side of the paper, you have to let it go. All of it. In fact, I would urge anybody if you wanted to do an exercise to write it out. What are the mistakes of the past? What are the limiting beliefs and decisions of the past? What are your angers and frustrations that you have? And when you have all of it written down, you can take it to the fire and just watch it burn. But the point is this, if you're gonna change and make 2023 the best year you've ever had and you want to do it in not just like a, an incremental way, but like an explosive way, because one of the beliefs you have right now that might not be serving you is that change is a long process. And so let's just say that, that we let this past self go. We let the dead bury the dead. And then let's just say that you start to create this new model of you, this new version. What you have to do is you have to relentlessly and consistently hold on to the new image. Relentlessly and consistently. You hold on to that image every single day. And the change seems slow at first, but if you relentlessly and consistently hold on to that image, that new model of you that is walking around and interacting with the world, and you suspend your sense 
sensory experience for the times when you want to look at your external results that pulls you back into the past because your external reality is going to be a reflection of what's going on internally. But you have to remove those sensory experiences, the sights, the sounds, the, the evidence that's staring at you on the outside and you have to suspend that for a time period because you have to think and act like the new model regardless of what your results are telling you right now regardless of what you open up and look at your bank account regardless of the image that you see in the mirror you get to create with your imagination which is the most powerful things that your creator has given you your imagination and you get to create something new you get to hold on to that image with your will that is another faculty that your creator gave you and so with your willpower, you get to hold on to that image that you created, that despite all of the evidence of the world, you hold on to it and you decide to do that every single day. If you do that, this is what's going to happen. Day after day after day, your life will change. And one day you're going to wake up and you're going to wake up somebody new. You're going to wake up and to the people around you, they're going to look at you because they don't know who you are. They're going to think they know who you are. They're going to think of you from your past, but they don't know you anymore. One of the most powerful things I did in 2020 is I moved cities. I moved away from everything and everybody that reminded me of the previous version of me. And I'm telling you right now, I'm looking right into the camera and I'm saying most of you are not willing to do this. You want to grow, but you're not willing to give up every single thing that ever reminded you of the previous version of you. Of course, there's going to be some things like the jerseys on the wall that remind me of past version of John. That's inspiring to me. I accepted this idea finally that I was going to, that I could create a different reality. And by doing so, I naturally wanted to move. I moved here where everything is new and everything in, in my environment now reminds me of the person that I I'm creating. Because if you're not truly willing to let go of all of it, your transformation is going to be very, very, very slow and you run the risk of it not being permanent. You can be like a lot of people and change the behaviors and get a different result temporarily. But even when those results come, it doesn't align with who you believe you are, who you see yourself as. And because you don't see yourself as this new person that's getting those new results, you might have went on a hot streak and then you slide right back down. You might have lost 20 pounds and then you gain it all back. You might have gotten a new job and a new promotion and then you self-sabotage that because you don't see yourself as that person. So if you're gonna make permanent change, those behaviors have to line up with the new identity. And so I mentioned it before, but the first part of this is the creation. You need a new model. You have to create this. I, I, what are some of the things you can do? You can write 25 characteristics today of the person you want to become. Number two, with your willpower, you hold on to that new image relentlessly. And then number three, here's the part that I wanna share with you. You create new identity based behaviors that match the new version of you in 2023 and you don't negotiate them. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and uh, we'll talk to you next week.